Well, we're going to take a little bit of a break from the National Outdoor Show right now, but we're going to stay right here in Dorchester County because we have a nice little late winter treat, a rabbit hunt. Yeah, I'm here on a property owned by my friend Dave Seacott. We've been here before, so brought along some friends and good chance for me to bring along this old 870 Wingmaster that belonged to my grandfather and take it for a walk here out in the wilderness, something that's always nice to do. Well, you know what? Going through this thick stuff isn't always easy. Luckily, we have a great set of beagles with us today to help us sniff them out. In midwinter, once the main waterfowl seasons have ended and only the diehard fishermen remain, you'll find a group of hunters doing their best to stay busy. I uh, usually work the edges in the thickest spots. That's usually where the rabbits are holding this time of year when it's cold. Just hope we have some fun today. Yeah, yeah, come on. The February rabbit hunt is a tradition at the Seacott's family yeah. property just a few miles outside of Cambridge. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. tracking down a few cottontails in the surrounding woods and marsh grass on, is usually a good exercise. Pass up a stick. For both man and the pack of beagles leading the way. This is a pepper. So she's a year old. This is her first year. So she just started. I grew up into it. My father had rabbit dolls for as long as I could remember. What's your role here as the uh, keeper of the, of the pack here? Yeah? Just try to keep the dolls straight. And once if somebody killed one, get them back on another rabbit. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on. With the yeah, use of my yeah. head cam, you're about to see how effective the beagles can be and how quick the rabbits really are. In this case, as I'm listening and looking in the opposite direction, a dashing rabbit barely catches my attention on the other side of the road. Unexpected, but opportunistic, I take a shot, and it's one rabbit in the bag. First shot, he fired exactly into the fence. Second shot, he him, seen the fur fly. So, Dorchester County, cottontail rabbit. Killed five so far. I haven't got any, but that's all right. Number six. Five. Five. Come on. Five. You embellish slightly, you know, on these type of things. <laughs> now, on top of enjoying some beautiful weather for the month of February, this is a good group of guys, each with a style. Some of us shooting traditional pump shotguns, but two others showing off just a bit, taking their chances with these black powder models. A little harder on the face. Uh, I've got two for two. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Notice a <the> rubber band. <laughs> Notice, the, Notice the rubber band. That just happened this morning. <laughs> the uh, spring, the, uh, the spring is, is is disconnected or broken in there. It's the first trouble I've ever had with this old gun. <laughs> these old these old things. If you shoot one shot in the thing. It looks like you poured a half a ton of coal through it. When it comes down to it, it's whatever works. And with a few more rabbits to round out the morning, the early afternoon leads us to another wooded section where Calvin is happy to oblige a rather brave rabbit who passed by at least two of us first. And while a quick cruise of the usually productive grass fields and marsh along the little Choptank River proves unfruitful this time, it's still been a nice winter distraction, and just enough to keep us all hopping until spring. A lot of fun. I can't believe people, you know, put down hunting and stuff like that. The camaraderie and all that kind of stuff that goes with it. It was a wonderful day. It was beautiful weather, blue sky, and bright sun, and good company, and fast rabbits, and nice beagle music. I'm happy with them. I'm going to keep them until next season. Get outdoors, Delmarva!